Please pray with me. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, this morning we come to you knowing that you meet us where we are, in our joy, in our sorrow, in our weariness, in our longings, in our questions. We come to you, Lord, because where else will we go but to a Heavenly Father who knows us so intimately and loves us so deeply. I love how the songwriter put it in the song we just sang. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. And yet, even as we say these words, Father, we confess the ways we have not lived as though we believe we are loved by you. We confess how we have looked to other things to satisfy us. Dear Lord, would you remind us daily that everything we desire can be found in you. Help us to trust in your goodness especially when life circumstances might make it harder for us to see that you are for us. God, we lift up the needs of this community. We remember those, those who are sick. Jehovah Rapha, would you touch their bodies and bring healing? We also pray for daily encouragement for them and for others who are walking through difficult times. May they experience your presence in very tangible ways. And would you show us, Father, how to be your hands and feet so that we can love our brothers and sisters in helpful ways? Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to be good neighbors and to use the gifts you have given us to bless our unhoused brothers and sisters in the best day ever community event in August. As we love on our neighbors who are created in your image, God, we pray that they will see your heart for them and that seeds of faith will be planted, that will be nurtured and will grow and bear fruit. We also pray that this activity of service and fun will expand our understanding of who you are and of your kingdom. And God, you who care for both the soul and the body, please provide permanent secure housing for these dear men and women. Sovereign Lord, we confess that sometimes we are unsure how to pray for our country in this tumultuous pre-election season. Would you teach us how to pray, Lord? May we be reminded that none of what's happening is a surprise to you. You know what's to come. Help us to trust more fully that your plans for this country will come to pass and that nothing or no one can thwart those plans. May our responses to all that's happening be characterized by love and patience and trust. But I pray that we'll also actively participate in the election process guided by your Holy Spirit. And now I'd like to give us a few minutes to pray for whatever is on our hearts. Um, and as you pray, hear the words of this hymn that I always find so encouraging. It enc encourages us to pray boldly. Thou art coming to a king, large petitions with thee bring, for his grace and power are such, none can ever ask too much. Dear Lord, thank you for how you hear and answer our prayers, even when the answers look different from what we were expecting. While we wait for answers to prayers that may have been lifted up just this moment or yesterday or prayers that we've been praying for weeks or even years, gracious Father, would you help us to experience you in our present circumstances and to be encouraged as we wait on you and as we walk together with each other along life's path. Through it all, may we remember that you delight in us and that we can trust you. In Jesus' name, amen.